Hello, and welcome back to Chaos Bane. Last time, we got teleported to the Realm of Chaos, found a Keeper of Secrets, smacked him up, got a name of the demon who is protecting the Harbinger, and Teclas said that the name of the demon, it was some big bad dude, and to talk to him now. I have learned much about our enemy since last we spoke. Defeating Axarath will be no easy task. Its power is terrible indeed. First, we must deal with the Demon Prince's followers. Once they are destroyed, we will be able to roam its realm at will. The first phase of the plan is simple. Seek out the enemy's camps. Kill everyone that stands in your way. By Oak and Ash, it shall be done. I like how this guy is still just back here vibing. We got some priest just hanging around, he's just floating. I gotta run all the way down the stairs, out here, just to find the portal. Apparently, aspiring champions of chaos get different resistances based on the patron deity, so like Nurgle champions are resistant to poison damage, while Slanesh is resistant to physical. Like that's really cool, but I really, really wish they had kind of explained and fleshed that out a bit more, because there, there's not really a way to kind of rebuild my abilities to be like, oh, this guy's resistant to poison, well, I'll just do fire damage then on my arrows. The game just goes, nah, you, you get poison, so you're gonna get countered by Nurgle no matter what. That, that kind of sucks. Once again, Diablo did it better by letting you at least pick what you wanted to have for like little symbol or little runes. Be like, oh, this ability now does fire damage and has this extra effect, but you at least knew, okay, if this guy is gonna be resistant to this, I can just pop in a new thing and beat him with that. And I know someone watching might wonder, you know, why do you keep comparing it to Diablo? You know, isn't that kind of... isn't that kind of unfair to compare it? And I mean, to a degree, it, it's always kind of unfair to compare things, because every game's des overall design is different. But if you're doing a certain thing... oh, there's a Chaos Spawn. Looks like he's got dreadlocks, and wow, he can breathe fire. Uh, but I mean, when you look at it, okay, you made a an ARPG. You know, your typical looter, Diablo-style loot game. Okay. Well, you compare, you know, the best known games of that type. Because you always want games to improve. You know, if I like racing games, I'm not going to compare, you know the new Gran Turismo to, you know, big rigs off-road on the PlayStation 1. One, that game was absolutely awful and pretty much an unfinished mess. Literally, there was some maps apparently you could fall through the world. And it was never patched because, you know, PlayStation 1. But, you know, when you got issues like that, you don't want to compare the worst things out there just to be, make it seem better. You know, oh, at least it's not crap. You know, yeah, no, no one's happy that it's that, you know. It's kind of a, I, I would argue, more or less a disingenuous argument to be, compare it to like the worst thing to be like, oh, at least it's not this. Well, of course it's not that. Who would want it to be that? 
you compare it to the best because you want it to be better. You want it to be the best. You want people... You, you, you hope developers learn. Like if a game like Destiny came out, I would compare it to Destiny because that's the closest thing we have. I mean, you could argue Borderlands and Destiny are very similar, but their overall like loot mechanic and how the game functions are different. One is more MMO light and one is more just arcadey. You, uh, you stuck there, buddy? Actually, let's take a second. Oh, no, 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 no. I am. Want to see your face? Look at him. He looks kind of neat. And explode. But also, when you compare it, you, you have to consider release and everything. This game is still competing with Diablo. I mean, you could make the assertion of, is it really fair that a game can be that, compete for that long? You know, how many years Diablo has been out? I remember being, oh my god, it's been like, has it been almost 10 years? It's gotta be around, around, not around, around, but around 10 years since Diablo 3 came out. You could, you could say, you know, is it fair for that to still be competitive? And, I mean, it's not really a matter of fairness, it's a matter of quality. I still compare games to Command & Conquer Generals, or not Crusader Kings, um, Company of Heroes 2, you know, games that are a little bit older, especially CNC Generals that came out like 2003. That game is no spring chicken. 2002-2003. But, you know, if a game has that sustainability, then yeah, you can keep comparing it. And that's a double-edged sword unto itself, because Diablo 4 is going to be compared to Diablo 3, and if it sucks, it's going to hurt, because then it falls on to the question of, how did you make a game worse? You know, you had a framework. People already do that. People already are like, hey, why didn't you make 3 more like Diablo 2? Granted, I'm not in that category of people, mostly because I didn't really play 2. I played Diablo 1. It was fun. I was young. I had no idea what I was doing. Hey, a flamer of Zinch. But, you know, I, I had an idea of what I was getting into with 3. But it, it is an issue, you know. You can run the risk of screwing yourself over by making a good game and then a bad game. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, okay, so arrow says this way. Not gonna lie, some of the like environment textures are kind of blinking in and out. Almost the lighting, I think. And that is really starting to agitate me, not in like an angry way, but just it's really distracting. Which, I mean, it's a minor thing, but it's just certain parts it's happening, and it's... You don't notice it until it happens, and then you're like, whoa, that's... That's all I can focus on now. Give me all your money! Oh my god, that cash floated into the sky. Well, that was fast. One other thing I think is an issue is you have stuff like this fragment linking 
And by waiting this long, you know, level 50 to explain it, I feel like you're kind of doing a disservice to the system in the game and the player, because it's like, oh, hey, we're not going to tell you about this until now. But enough with my tirade. Let's talk to Teclis after we slapped her on some demons. It is done, High Law Master. The Sentinels are dead. Well done, young Asrai. Now we are one step closer to the source of the Demon Prince's power. There is still difficult fighting ahead. Return to me when you are ready, and we will begin the next phase of the plan. Are you going to teleport somewhere else now? Oh no, I'm still here. Okay. So, that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.